welcome to Akushika's Kitchen. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to make delicious and great tasting lasagna from scratch. So if you're interested, do stay tuned. Let's move on to the main ingredients. I'm going to use 1.5 pounds of ground beef, 16 ounces grated mozzarella cheese, as well as some thyme leaves, 32 ounces of ricotta cheese, two medium-sized onions chopped, two large eggs, six cloves of garlic minced, and two bouillon cubes, chicken and beef. I also used 16 ounces of the lasagna pasta, two ounces Parmesan cheese. Now let's move on to the spices and pasta sauce. I'm going to use two 24 ounce jars of marinara and meat flavored pasta sauce some curry powder, parsley flakes, some adobo seasoning, as well as some black pepper. Let's get right into cooking now. First things first, I'm going to put a pot of water to boil, add a little salt and some oil to prevent the pasta from sticking, and then I go ahead and toss in the pasta. Make sure to stir really well to make sure they're all nice and submerged, and then you go ahead and cover. After a few minutes, go ahead and stir again to prevent the pasta from sticking to each other and then allow to boil again for another 5-10 minutes. Then you'll drain and cover the pasta and leave it to the side while we move on to the next step. We'll then set our oven to 375 degrees, add about 2 tablespoons of olive oil into a pot and then toss in your diced onions. Add your thyme and then add your ground beef. Next we'll add our minced garlic, one tablespoon black pepper, you can use more to your liking or you can use red powdered pepper if you prefer it spicy. Then I'll add a half tablespoon of adobo seasoning, a half a teaspoon of curry powder, a half a tablespoon of parsley flakes and half each of the chicken and the beef bouillon cubes. I then go ahead and stir and saute the beef for a few minutes until it turns nice and brown and then I go ahead and add the pasta sauce. I also add a little water into the jars just to rinse it out a little bit so that I can get everything out of the jar into the pot. Then I go ahead and stir it to have everything mixed in together nicely and then I cover and have it cook for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and work on the cheese mix. I'm going to add the ricotta cheese to the mozzarella cheese, add my two large eggs, and then mix it in together really nicely until it's nice and uniform. Now that that's ready, we're going to go ahead and layer the lasagna. I first sprayed my glass cooking pan with some cooking spray to make sure nothing sticks on the bottom. And then I'm going to start with a layer of pasta sauce. Spread that evenly in the pan. And then go ahead and put a layer of the pasta. I'm starting horizontally. And then adding my cheese layer. Make sure to flake it evenly all around in the pan. And then I'm going to go ahead and follow up with a layer of the pasta sauce. Next would be the pasta layer, and as you can see, I'm alternating the direction of the pasta. This time I'm going vertical, and then I add my cheese mix, and then the pasta sauce. So we're basically adding in layers until we get all the way to the top. The reason we alternate the direction of the pasta is to ensure a nice thickness and form of the lasagna when you're cutting it in the end. After we're done layering, one thing I do is I use a fork to press down the pasta edges into the pasta sauce. This prevents dry and crusty pasta edges. I then go ahead and cover the entire pan with aluminum foil and then bake in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes. And voila! We have a quick and delicious tasting lasagna made from scratch. Let me know what you think when you get to try this recipe. Share with somebody you know who loves lasagna. 
If you found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it so I can share more recipes with you all. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye!